Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? Thanks for stopping by. We're gonna go right into your rating for the Twin Flame community. Um, I'll have messages here for all signs in the Twin Flame connection on the Twin Flame journey. I'm gonna be pulling from five decks. We'll start with Aries here and work our way through to Pisces for the Twin Flames and separation for Aries. Okay, all right, look at that, I love it. Aries, hold your vision, right? This is the fixed moon. Whatever you see for yourself happening between you and your twin and your person, Spirit is here urging you to hold your vision. All right, with the Romance Angels, what is the Romance energy between you and your Twin Flame connection? For Aries, okay, Spirit, yes. Pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> it came out in reverse, or I took it in reverse, so the signs are cautioning you, but let's take it as it came, right? So if you pay attention, excuse my nails, guys. I'm doing nail tech training classes right now, so my nails are popping on and off. I'm doing that on purpose. I'm constantly doing and taking off, so do bear with me on that. Don't rip on my nails. <laughs> um, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. What I'm really seeing here in that situation is that some of you guys may be looking for red flags that aren't there because you have a fear that the situation is not manifesting for you the way you want to. The vision that you have in your mind may not be playing out for you at this moment. So you could be experiencing some anxiety here. You know, and let's not live out self-fulfilled prophecies. Let's not be our own depression about the connection. Aries. From the Twin Flames and Separation Deck. Spirit, what do we have for Aries? For Aries. <laughs> we have my memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a tarot and we'll do the angel guidance for last. This is my deck that I have created. Angel guidance by your girl, Stardust1111. Check me out. You can buy or purchase from my website. Uh, here we go. We have something that's not supposed to be here blocking my nameplate. All right, guys. So don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified next time I upload some content to my YouTube channel. From the tarot, what messages? What does the twin flame of Aries want to say to Aries? What is the message? The overall message and energy of the connection. Spirits. That last card just wanted to go. Okay. Knight of Wands. <laughs> Some of y'all twin flame is a player, player. This is someone that wants to take action, that wants to come in. They have you on their mind. <laughs> For some of you guys, this is your person's energy holding their vision. Maybe looking for red flags here, self-sabotage here. But they think about you a lot, maybe obsessively. They could be moving towards you, close to you in your neighborhood. Or you could be moving close to or towards them. Okay, taking that first card that fell down. Mommy's angel number. Hey, she's in the building. So this card reads, have faith in your light working talents and abilities and put them to good use, Aries. And Spirit told me I have to take this card for you guys because it came out. They make no mistakes, right? Divine order is taking place in your life experience with your twin flame. Aries, there you go. There you have it, your messages, my dears. So let's get back to it. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to your reading. Now we go for Taurus. Taurus for your twin flame connection, right? What messages do we have from Taurus's person? What's on the mind of Taurus's twin flame, Taurus's person? Um, these energies can be interchangeable. Taurus is can be picking up on your energy as well. That happens in tarot, but I am trying to get information for your person here. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Taurus, right? Full moon eclipse. So conclusions are within reach. You have something coming up for you and your connection, I believe. Some answers that you've been waiting for are coming in here. With this next up and coming full moon that we have towards the end of the month here. So from the romance angels, what is the romance energy between Taurus and Taurus's person? Calling in your soulmate. Hey, that's beautiful energy together. Calling in your soulmate and and the conclusions are within reach. So something is coming full force here, right? 
with that full moon. What do you need to release? The color of your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Some of you guys may need to cash you some spells. <laughs> if you're into that, if that is your thing, right? Um, I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger, and I cannot control them. Hmm. Period. So, I'm going to get you guys here. Tarot. For the Taurus and Taurus's twin flame and Taurus's connection. Guys, if you need a personal reading, information will be down below in the description box of how to reach me for that. Okay, there we go. We have Page of Pentacles. And then. So that's an offer. You have an offer coming here um, for you guys, Taurus. I'm um, looking at your person as being a younger person here. Um, they have an offer. The pages are messengers here. So you're going to be getting something tangible from your person. And you have 888. But it comes out here as 8853. So instead of seeing 888, some of you guys could very well be. But imagine that you have to create your own abundance here. It's like taking a nap or the backseat to your life story. Letting someone else hold a pen when writing your life story here. This is telling you to step up and take action towards what it is that you want to create. All right. Abundance is yours if you pursue your dreams. But it is up to you to do that and you alone. All right, Taurus. Okay, let's keep rocking them. Let's give me some messages. For Gemini. For Gemini. Twin flame and energy. Overall energy from the Moonology deck. Spirit, what do we have? For Gemini and Gemini's person. Gemini's twin flame or vice versa. What do we have? Okay, we have. <laughs> look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sagittarius. What do we have from the romance angels? What is the romantic energy between? Okay. <laughs> Flirt. Right? Extend your lighthearted energy to your person, to others, some of you guys. Looking at the bigger picture here, I believe that things could really grow and expand here. Um, Sagittarius is all about Jupiter's energy, expansion, growth, abundance, luck. So I believe that if you send out these vibrations of flirting, of wanting your person when you meet them, some of you guys, if you have not met them yet, or for those of you who have flirt with this person, you know, begin to let them know how you feel and you'll be surprised how things will expand and grow, how lucky you actually are, and that this person may actually reciprocate that for you, right? We also have from the Twin Flames and Separation deck, it is easier being with someone from my world. Ooh. So yeah. This person here may be suffering that feeling of discontentment and connection from you, but I believe that they are definitely feeling that it's easier to be with someone else as the Twin Flame connection. The situation is very hard. Uh, there's a card. It's very hard to navigate. You know, it's very hard for a lot of people. And you're not with your person here. Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> These cards are so on point for you guys and your energy. It's easier being with someone from their world here for your twin flame, Gemini. They feel like it's very hard and difficult. Um, it's a lot of looking at things from a different perspective here. Uh, maybe this person has given up. Nothing is moving forward with you or your person. The energies are stagnant there. And I just really feel like your person may just be giving up altogether on the connection. But they are getting a different perspective with the hanged man. They could have left you hanging or things are just really at a standstill with you and your person in this connection on this journey. 7257, that's 777. 5 and a 2 is 7 and 7 7. What I had in mind when I wrote this card was being present at the moment allows you to visualize your best life. This is meditation here. Um, it's like creating your luck, your abundance with Jupiter. It's about luck, abundance, and expansion here. So being present in the moment, holding to, on to your vision and allowing spirit and um, the angels around you to work with you through synchronicity here. Like this um, 
light here shining at the crown chakra there's a lot of enlightenment and awakening along the journey um that your person is experiencing because of you they're definitely having a different outlook on life i believe that you may have changed your person's love language here but uh, maybe the situation was just too overwhelming for them so they decided to be with someone from their own world instead of navigating this difficult hard very trying challenging situation with you very sorry for some of you guys let's continue cancer Twin flame situation for my Cancerians. We have a win win outcomes forecast. Hey, full moon in Libra. So, a win win outcomes forecast here for some of you guys. It could be someone that you're married to that could be your twin flame, or they could be married, but I definitely see them coming towards you with this expansion of the beautiful, beautiful um balance of their heart center their heart chakra why do i get that with that card i just feel that okay for the romance angel energy between you and your person here cancer we have for you guys attraction right your attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully wow your person's very attracted to you Right, they want to win with you. You got two cards from the Twin Flames of Separation. I'll take both of Divine Feminine and Masculine Energy if you ask me. All right, so the Feminine Energy reads, I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you, right? And Divine Masculine Energy says, um, our beliefs were just too different. I couldn't reconcile mine to yours. So that's like um, different spiritual backgrounds here between you and your person. I'm seeing it as someone that they really, really want to come together and have this connection with you and form these partnerships and alliances and just really can't bring themselves to do it. Hmm. Okay. So we have for my Cancerians, my Krabbies. <laughs> I could take that card, but it just jumped too soon. I'm like, eh, let's see what else we get. Okay, the world completion. Some of you guys um, feel like you have unfinished business with this person. Um, you see them as somebody that completes you. It was a victory. It's a success. It's um, having... Oh, I cannot <laughs> shuffle this deck. It's too tiny for that. With the world energy. Um... It's like after hard struggles and challenges, finally getting what you want, making it to the finish line, right? Successful completion of something here. Some of you guys may have graduated, may have, you know, gotten degrees, maybe at a very powerful point in your life right now. And I'm feeling like the world is your oyster, like gobble it up. 10, 10. So you are ready to take action. Time for personal development. So I feel like you guys are ready to take on the world here in that energy and the confirmation of that energy. Ready to take on the world, Cancerian, in that place and that mindset. Looking at the bigger picture and um, <laughs> understanding that you make your own luck and fate in this world. Don't quit. Don't stop. Keep moving. So we have Leo. <laughs> For your person, for your twin flame, Leo. Take what jumps for you guys. Even though I don't want to take more than one card per deck, but um, you know, it's not up to me, it's up to spirit for you guys. So we have fixed moon and new moon in Taurus. Hold your vision and prosperity lies ahead. Hey. <laughs> That's what's up, Leo. Look at you. <laughs> okay, the romantic energy between you and your person is lack of control issues. Hey, well, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> spirit said that, not me. <laughs> Take that up with spirit in them. <laughs> yeah, lack of control issues, a lot of situations will unfold naturally, right? From the Twin Flames of Separation deck for Leos. What do we have? It's not going to resonate with all of you guys. There's just so too many of you in the world on this journey. But I'm doing my best to get these messages out and give you guys some type of, you know, 
information about your person, where they're at and how they're feeling. And like I said, it can pick up on you or your person's energy here. Um, you are my best friend and I cherish our friendship above all others. So, you know, this person holds you to a very high standards here. I feel that they know and sense the connection with you. Why are my cards like this? They know and sense the connection with you. They know that it's very divine. They know that um, they can have a lot going on with you if they hold on to their vision. Some of them have been watching. <laughs> wow, and as we say that, the sun card. Ooh, that's the happiest card in the tarot. Prosperity lies ahead. And them holding you to a very hard regard here. Looking, thinking, and feeling like you are their best friend. Um, the universe just needs you to let go of control issues here. I'm not going to take another card. Those are beautiful in and of themselves, Leo. Jeez, and Leo, this is your card. The sun rules Leo. So, it's here for you. Hey. And we got that full moon in Taurus here. That's about your money. Um, Venus rules Taurus, right? So, this is about expansion, growth. It's about... Um, Creation is fine. It's 911. <laughs> this person wants to get to you like now. Um, something in your life requires immediate attention. So, what is it that you're not doing? What instincts are you not acting on that can lead you to your prosperity? Don't sleep on your gifts or your skills. It's time to take action. It's time to get to it, right? Okay. Birds. Let's do it. <laughs> Children came out right away for birds. We ain't taking that initially. Don't see what it do. Virks. Twin flames. And separation. Virgos in particular. What do we have from the Moonology deck? From my Virks. That one. That one was coming out. Hold your vision. Virks. Yes. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. <laughs> Something about a past relationship that maybe you guys keep having visions about that is playing out. Maybe uh, <laughs> some of you guys, we're going to see about them cards. We're going to see fixed moon and south node. This is past life stuff. And with the twin flame, it's all about that. This is your forever person. This is your twin flame, the other half of your soul. It's effed up and messed up as a situation is. It's a really bad connection to be in, if you ask me. So the flame situations are very hard and not mix max socks. Hey, twinkle toes. <laughs> Love it. Let's continue. For my Virgos. What is the love energy between Virgo and Virgo's person? From the whoa, <laughs> Romance Angels deck. We got retreat. They want to get away with you. And we have. <laughs> Well, wow, stay optimistic about your love life. Why did I want to take three from that deck? Spirit wanted me to have three. Retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. Nobody knows how to go within and be alone like the Virgo, right? This is like hermit energy here. Although it depicts two people getting away, retreating, kind of like honeymoon phasing. This is telling me you need to spend some time alone holding your vision about the situation and begin to meditate on what you want to stop holding yourself back from past life memories of what didn't work between you and your twin or past life situations if you're not feeling good enough or worthy. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance right and attraction you know this person is very attracted to you you do it for them you cross all the boxes for your person so hmm, let's continue my love love lovelies what do they say to the virgo what is the messages from virgo person virgo's twin flame from the twin flames and separation deck Chair is very squeaky, and maybe the way I'm sitting on it. I couldn't go against my family to be with you. Ooh, -wee. some of them are married, and they didn't want to break those vows to come in and be with you, Virgo. Although there's a lot of attraction here, don't let your past hold you back. Hold your vision. Ask the universe to bring you in another person. It's not worth it. Don't let this person in situation stress you out. Don't you do it. Go within. Spirit is telling you to go within. Retreat. Spend some alone time. Learn what it's like to stand on your own two feet and have your own back outside of this connection. Right? No one ever loved me again the way you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. 
So something about the vibration, the energy that um, you've shared with this person that they haven't been able to find out anywhere else on anybody else. Maybe even if they are married or in a current situation, they haven't found it outside of you, Virgo. And what was that? Four of Cups. <laughs> I almost let it go, but spirit, like, if you don't get that card, Stardust, and stop playing over here with us. Yes, for cups, they're bored and discontent in their situation for some of you guys. Wow, King of Cups. Hey, now, and yes, and yes, why did I show Berg so much love? They're very indecisive. I don't know. That's just what spirit wanted. I'm sorry, guys. Y'all want to get at me in the comments and <laughs> request for your sign. I will oblige. Please believe it. I'm just saying for birds, though. Look what it do. Right? No one ever could love them the way that you did. They think about you a lot. They have a lot of fond memories. Six of Cups here. King of Cups. The sun. All is well when the sun is out. You give this person life. They're very confused. They're very indecisive about what to do about you moving forward here. This could be someone ready to leave someone they're in a commitment with here, right? Hmm. Stay optimistic about it because maybe things are not as they seem, even though this person may be in another relationship, but they don't have the love there. They don't feel that same energy and vibration that they felt from you. They're in love with you, someone from your past, and you give them life. They want a new start with you. You are their son. You are their world. You give them life. You're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All your cards here are cups and the sun. <laughs> well, you get the two of swords, which depicts the indecisiveness, the fact that this person is, um, you know, mentally conflicted here about what to do. Knowing the right choice and what they want to do, but just lacking the forward emotion, you know, to be able to do it. Wow, okay. From the angel guidance deck <laughs> for my birds. Divine timing is at play in your life experience. So things are playing out between you and your person, but divine timing is at play. You're going to have to allow for these things to unfold um, the way that the universe intends for them to and not the way that you intend for them to. So let go of control issues and stay optimistic. Excuse me about the situation in your person. There's a lot of love and attraction here with the King of Cups. This person is very much in love and smitten with you. Someone from the past. And you'd know who they are because they like are they're like your light, you know. Hmm. They feel like they had a missed opportunity with you and this person. Don't be surprised if you can get a message or something from this person. I'm gonna stop this video here. Um, so it's not too long since you are the sixth sign Virgo and pick up with Libra and the next one, guys. So twin flames and separation, quick reads for the signs. Thank you guys so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Namaste.